Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tanisha. This is Tanisha's World. And if you see that Nike box, check out the haul video. Before the video before this one, or whatever. I don't even know when it's coming out. But that's from a haul I just did, so it's sitting on my bed. But this is not about the haul. This is about this is a sit down video. This is a chit chat video. Something that if you're new, if you're used to my channel, then you know I do from time to time. So I think I might have mentioned back in like November, October, November, December, somewhere around there, that my son was starting day treatment. And so I just want to come and talk to y'all about how I feel about day treatment at this point. So if you're new to my channel, then you don't know that my son is, has autist, he's autistic and he has a mild intellectual disability, which makes him mentally between four and five. With that being said, his behaviors were so erratic and out of control this school year that they couldn't deal with him in regular school, so they sent him to day treatment. Now, me being the mom that I am, I'm thinking, okay, day treatment is going to be this great fix for the problem. It's going to fix him. No, it did not fix him. If anything, it made him more worse than what he already was. Um, we started, he started tearing up classrooms, flipping over desks, throwing toys, throwing things. Um, and I feel like they don't know how to handle him in day treatment. And so I get a lot of calls periodically or texts from his teacher about his behavior and how he's acting. And I'm like, but aren't y'all trained on how to deal with him? You know what I'm saying? I thought as like a mental health type-ish that day treatment would help, you know what I'm saying? Help get his medicine right, help get him on the right page, teach him how to deal with things better than the way he was before. But that's not the case. Like, I'm not seeing the difference in him academically being in day treatment. So now I'm like, did we waste our time? Should I have done this? You know what I'm saying? Because he's got to be at level four to get our day treatment. And because we were already up to level three, but now we're back down to level one because his behavior is so erratic and he's just acting out so much. There hasn't really been a change in my household, so I can't sit here and say, okay, well, this it's because of this or it's because of that. I am newly single. You know what I'm saying? My ex moved out in February, which is when his behavior started. So some part of me is thinking, okay, well, he misses him. Then he tells people it's for attention. And I give my son attention. I just don't get down on the floor and play with him because he's 10. I played with him when he was a baby. He's not a baby to me anymore. Even though mentally he's four or five, I put those years in. I played with him. I taught him how to play by himself. So he could be self-sufficient and play by himself. What kid doesn't want to have their own full toys they can play in? Apparently mine. Mine would be up under me. And that's not an option for me because, again, I'm newly dating. I'm in the dating scene, so I'm meeting people. I'm going out. I'm doing stuff. I'm having adult conversations, things that he shouldn't hear. And he wants to be up my butt 24-7. And it's not cute. Like, we're, we're digressing. We're having separation anxiety. Like, well, he doesn't want to leave me. And he cries. And he has to go with me everywhere I go. Like, yesterday, I went with him to the med appointment. And I went to use the bathroom. I'm coming in here with you. No, you're not. Stay your butt out in the hallway. I'm not going nowhere. So, you're okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, dude, really? So, I'm kind of frustrated with day treatment and a whole... Not with his teachers or anything like that or the staff there. I'm just frustrated with the way I thought it would be versus the reality of it. I thought it would be this great thing and it's really not. And so it's like, what? Like, I want my son to be able to enjoy his fourth and fifth grade years in elementary school. And it looks like he might be in day treatment the majority of his fourth grade year. And it's like, dude, you missed third grade. I don't have any pictures from this school year. I'm not going to have pictures from next school year. Like, are we ever going to get... Are we ever going to get it together is what I'm like. Like, what's it going to take? Like, medication isn't the fix. Meds will help. ABA will help. But it's up to my son to get it together. And so I'm like, what's it going to take to motivate you to want to be better? You know what I'm saying? What's it going to take to make you want to stop acting out and stop doing crazy things? And I'm back to holding my phone. So y'all let me know what you like better. The tripod or me holding the camera while I do sit down videos because I really need a tripod for this. <clears throat> so if you are an autistic parent and you have any suggestions, any ideas, if you have children who have behavior problems, if you have any ideas, let me know. I've already done intensive in-home for him. Um, we're doing day treatment. He does have med management. He has ABA. We have respite. We have in-home skill building. So we do have things in place for him to help him be better. 
But right now, it seems like nothing is working. So I might sit down and do a vid. I might sit down a day and talk to him and just try to figure out why he doesn't want to do better. You know what I'm saying? There has to be a reason why he's acting the way he's acting. Because it's not all autism. It's not all mild IDD. It's not all ODD. It's not all... I'm not going to sit here and blame it on the diagnosis. You know what I'm saying? He has control over what he does and what he doesn't do. So, we're going to talk about it today. And try to come up with a plan of action to fix it. And like I said, I want my son to be able to go back to regular school next year. I want fall pictures. I want spring pictures. I want yearbooks. You know what I'm saying? I want him to have memories. I want a class picture. Things that I have from last school year. I don't like yearbooks. I didn't buy a yearbook. But I bought his class picture. I bought, well, his second grade year. Because so third grade is spent in day treatment. So I want to get back on track. You know what I'm saying? I want him to be able to go have fun in school and like it. And right now, he's coming today. I don't like school. I don't want to go. He's truly my child, though, because I wasn't this bad at, like, elementary school and not wanting to get him to go to school. But by the time I got to high school, I was over it. I was like, yeah, I ain't going no more. You can cancel that. But I still graduated high school. Let's just let's focus on that. So, yeah, that's where we are with day treatment. Um, hopefully, it'll get better. I'm going to talk with them about possibly altering his morning because mornings are so hard for him to adjust. So, you know, if I know something's triggering him, then it, I can fix it. You know what I'm saying? So, get him back to level three or level four. Because right now, he's at level one and we'll be level four to get out. So, yeah. And then part of the problem, too, is his ABA every day. And right now his ABA is in the morning, so he misses he misses his educational time in school. So he's doing ABA. So once school starts back in August, I have to revamp his schedule and talk with the ABA providers and see what we can do about that. Because once he goes back to regular school, I'm not going to be able to let him miss so much time. And what I'm trying to do this summer is help them teach him like strategies and things to use to help him and techniques. So he doesn't have to freak out and flip out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we are with that. And I hope that overall my experience with day treatment will get better. And I'll like it the way I used to. I used to love day treatment. But right now, like, my phone rings. I'm looking at, oh, my God. What did he do now? Why are y'all calling me? But don't let my video and my feelings influence you on day treatment for your child. Because at the time, he needed day treatment. You know what I'm saying? And I thought that him being in day treatment would help his doctor, like his med doctor, figure out like the best medicine for him and stuff. I was trying to make him the most, the best, well-rounded individual that I could and get him all the services and all the help that he needs to be successful in life. So that was the goal behind day treatment. Will I do it again? Right now, I don't know. I don't know. Because he's missed so much. He didn't have a field day. You know what I'm saying? He missed like activities I want him to participate in that he can't participate in because he's in day treatment. So, I don't know if I would do it again or not, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this a 20 minute video about me ranting about day treatment. Um, I'm going to come and give y'all a video about all his medications and what they do and how they work because his new med, do his new med doctor educated me yesterday on his meds and what they're for and how they'll help and what they will do and what they won't do. So, we're going to talk about that in another video. Yeah. So, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching my video. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I will see y'all next video. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.